Welcome back to another episode of Fish in Florida. Today, I'm coming at you with another Pissafun product review. I'm going to be reviewing the Pissafun Phantom Baycaster Reel. Here is the box that the reel comes in. It says Pissafun, go with family. Then on this side, you got a picture of the reel. It says Phantom, and then the gear ratio that the reel is. It's a 7.0 to 1, which is the perfect all-around gear ratio. You can do pretty much any type of fishing with that. So great all-around gear ratio. And then on this side, you got the specs of the reel. Let me focus that real quick. So in the box, I've already opened it, but first of all, you got the reel and bubble wrap. Put that aside, here's the reel itself. We'll get back to this in a second, but first of all, let's see what else is in the box. Next, you got a case for the reel. This is great for if you travel, it just says piss fun and then pretty neat little case. Then you got a sticker. This is the next thing in the box. It's just a piss of one sticker. Pretty cool. Put that to the side. And then finally, you got the instructions. And that's what comes in the box. Let's put this stuff back in. All right, now let's go to the reel. This is a piss of one phantom. Obviously, I've already used it. So I already have a feel for this reel. But the first thing I noticed was that this reel looks really sick. It's a matte black finish with a green accents. It's a really cool looking reel. It's also super light. And then the second thing I noticed was that it's super smooth, like insanely smooth. So let's go ahead and go over the specs and then I'll show you guys how to adjust it and stuff like that. So I got the right-handed version. I prefer reeling with my right hand. And yeah, moving on, this reel has seven bearings. Again, it has a gear ratio of 7.0 to one. It retrieves 30.3 inches of line per turn. The max drag of this reel is 17 pounds. It weighs 5.7 ounces. It holds 120 yards of 10 pound mono and 120 yards of 30 pound braid. So yeah, those are the specs of the reel. Now let's go ahead and go into how to adjust this reel. So one thing to point out is when you first get this reel, the brakes are set on zero so what you're gonna do is you're just gonna push this button down and then twist down pull the side plate off and then right here you'll see there's numbers and there's a red dot that red dot tells you what your brakes are set on so right now I have them set on three that for me is the perfect setting when you first get this reel it's gonna be on zero so if you try casting you'll probably get a major backlash but I have mine set to three. For me, that's perfect. You can cast super far, and I almost never get any backlash. So that's that. And then on the outside, I have my brake set to zero. This, I find, maximizes my casting distance, and I still don't get any backlash. And then here's obviously your drag. If you want to tie your drag, push that forward. If you want to loosen your drag, just pull it back. That's the drag, and then... This controls how fast your lure falls. Obviously, you're gonna adjust it for each lure individually. I usually use a Senko and I keep this pretty loose and I can really bomb that Senko. One of the best things about this reel is it casts insanely far. All right guys, so that's enough about the specs of the reel. Now I'm going to show you a clip of a solid largemouth bass I caught using this reel. Hope y'all enjoy. Good fish. Oh my god. That's a pig. Oh, come on, come on. Let's go. Let's go. First fish at the new spot. That was sick. On the Pissaphone Phantom. Let's go. That's a pig. All right, guys. Awesome bass on the Pissaphone Phantom. Really sick. Probably three pounder. All right, sick. Let's get a release. All right. Let's just toss him over the weeds. And there he goes. That's sick. All right, guys, that's going to do it for the review. Hope you guys enjoyed. The Pissa Fun Phantom is a really sick bait caster. It's super smooth, really light, casts insanely far. So, yeah, I love it so far. But thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you next time on the next episode of Fishing Florida.